Ciao a tutti, Daniel here. Today I'm going to show you three quick ways to model a simple glass in Blender. Number one, Boolean operation. Let's start creating our cylinder. It's a simple mesh and it's going to be the base for our glass. Now the object itself has not so many subdivision, not so many vertexes and faces, so it's simple. I'm going to select the central face, the vertical faces, and I'm going to subdivide them twice to have more vertex to edit. Switching from faces to vertex will let me select the vertexes I want to modify and start the editing of the glass. So let's say that this is the base of the glass, so we're going to reduce the size of the base a little bit. We're going to move this down. We're going to probably increase this part. And we're going to move this up. And probably all this section up, this bit down. And I'm going to move this bit. Okay, here we have our initial shape of the glass, which is solid and it's basically filled. So we want to see the inside of the glass too. And the quickest way to do it is probably to duplicate the same object. We'll go in the wireframe view and then we'll reduce the size of the inside a little bit and then I will edit to basically go outside of the container now I can select the external ob object, the shape of my glass, add the modifier called boolean, select the object that will basically carve my glass and set the operation, it's a difference operation, apply and remove the inside object. Here it is. Could be a glass or a vase it's the same procedure or a number of objects with cylindrical base shape let's go to the second technique number two profile spinning with this technique you're gonna achieve a more detailed object in a very shorter time let's start creating what is gonna be the profile of the glass that will revolve around its own center to create the object. A Bezier curve. This Bezier curve is going to be the profile of our glass. Now what we have to do is basically rotate the curve so that will be vertical. 90 degree, it's fine. It's gonna be a 2D line not 3D because we're gonna model in 2D the profile we're gonna say that this kind of line it's actually a spline type called poly and that could be moved like this in any view actually but I suggest to do in an orthographic view so let's start doing the modeling of the glass. Let's say that this is the base of the glass. We're gonna basically draw the profile of the glass and we'll extrude the vertexes. So we'll extend basically the profile starting from the vertexes. Uh, we can use Alt X or just click on extrude and here we go. 
first one, we move. That's gonna be here. Probably no. I need some space here. This is gonna be a different kind of glass. Probably a more wine kind of glass or some other drink. Uh, alcoholic stuff for sure. Now we are roughly at the border, the edge of the glass, so we go down this way. Now this is gonna be half of our glass of course, the profile leads only half of it, we don't need to do the whole glass. But what we have to do is actually adjust the thickness of the glass, usually glass it's very very thin, so we can go and make it thinner moving the vertexes. Once we have this profile, we are just gonna use a modifier called screw that will rotate the profile. Now, what you see wrong here is that the rotation starts the rotation starts in the Z axis, but what we need actually is the X axis. Looks very weird, but remove this shading for now. And here it is, our goblet, our glass. Short. We can keep editing. We can keep editing just the profile. And we can easily change the kind of glass we want. And build a number of them. Number three, extrusion. Even if this technique is not the one you would used to build a glass it's a technique that it's worth knowing because it's gonna be used so many times it's very useful and powerful technique let's say we build our our cylinder and we just stretch it to to be the base of our glass i'm gonna switch to edit mode i'm gonna select the center face the top face the top face and I'm going to start extruding and insetting faces. Now what I'm going to do with extrusion it's basically building on top the same shape, extending with the same shape. Then if I want to reduce the size I have to scale it. on the side what's, what's, what I'm doing. And extrude again, it's gonna be that part of the glass. And extrude again, and then scale. again scale a little bit more extrude again and here we have our glass which is full we need a hollow glass so we need to keep extruding select the top face it's already selected this time I will use inset inset will basically extrude changing the scale. You see, in this case it's very useful for the border of the glass. So I'm gonna create this edge, I'm gonna insert again, and this time I'm gonna move it a little bit down, 
and then I'm gonna extrude and then go down. And now you can see that I'm creating basically the interior of the class. As I said, this is not the best way to create a glass, but can be used this technique to create so many more things. I thought it was good to include it in this tutorial. Hope you find this video useful, so please subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this. Happy modeling everybody! Thanks for watching! Ciao!